At this time, seniors who are in the Glee Club are asked to come forward. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would like to introduce our class advisors, Ms. Mallory Garvin and Ms. Lara Schmidt. Thank you, Madison and Noreen. Good evening and welcome parents, guardians, families, friends, Mr. Cipriano, Dr. Denobli, Dr. Pons, the Woodridge and Munaki Board of Education, Town Council members, Mr. Sutera, Mrs. Barrows, Mr. Sinclair, Ms. Fergusio, fellow teachers, and last but surely not least, the graduates. In composing this speech, we thought long and hard about which direction we wanted to go in. Ultimately, though, when thinking about the students in the class of 2019, we only sought fitting that our message be reflective of who they are as unique individuals. Because this certainly is a unique group who have ventured on their own path to success. While there are countless attributes that our graduates possess, I think we can agree that the word vivacious appropriately, com appropriately comes to mind in thinking of them. In looking up the Webster definition of vivacious, it is an adjective meaning lively or spirited, full of life. What word could better describe the class of 2019? I don't think there is anyone out there that can say this particular group of students has not had fun over the past four years or live their high school years to the fullest. Even when faced with challenges and stressful situations like pressure-filled tests, college application deadlines, high-stakes athletic games, and just figuring out who they are as people, 
These students always made the best out of every situation. They enthusiastically cheered on our Blue Devils teams, tore up any dance floor, and always made us laugh. They did all of this while remaining leaders in every aspect of the student body. There is no doubt that the halls of WRHS will be drastically different without the class of 2019 next year. Graduates, as you embark on the next chapters of your lives, do not lose this unique and valuable ability to have fun and enjoy yourselves. Life will inevitably throw obstacles your way. Being able to smile, laugh, and relax will allow you to fearlessly and confidently face these challenges head on. This lively spirited and fun loving attitude can also be considered a key ingredient in the recipe of innovation. Albert Einstein once said that creativity is intelligence having fun. Mr. Einstein clearly understood the basics of how the world works, not just at a molecular level, but also at the human level. Knowledge is limited to only what is currently known. Having fun in the career and life path you choose for yourself will spark creativity and exploration in ways you might not even have dreamt of, ultimately leading to more growth of knowledge for yourself and possibly even others. Enjoying yourself in the pursuit of your future endeavors will allow you to unlock the door to limitless outcomes, potential, and happiness in your lives. You are the future of our country and of our world, and we are certain that you are destined for great things and are excited to see exactly what those things are. We are so proud of you and wish you nothing but support, luck, and love in all of your future endeavors. Time tends to fly, as we are sure you have now learned after looking back at the time of Woodridge, how quickly it flew by. It flies whether you're having fun or not. The choice is ultimately yours, graduates. Choose to live your lives to the fullest each and every day, smiling and laughing along the way. Congratulations. I would like to introduce our senior class president, Mr. Evan West, who will lead us through the next portion of the ceremony. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and classmates. It is an honor to be speaking at the Woodridge High School Class of 2019 graduation ceremony. You're probably just as shocked as I am that I'm speaking before you on this day. First things first, I would like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to be here today. I would also like to thank a number of people who made this day possible. I would like to first thank Mr. Cetera and Ms. Barrows for everything they have done and for making sure this school was up and running every day. I would like to thank Superintendent Mr. Cipriano, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Denobly, excuse me, and the rest of the administration. To the Board of Education, thank you. I would also like to thank all the faculty for their dedication into not only teaching us, but aiding us in our daily lives and treating us like their own. Mr. Rowley and Ms. Tenor, Ms. Carey, and Ms. Paniagua, thank you for all that you have done. I would lastly like to thank the class advisors, Ms. Schmidt and Ms. Garvin, for all their time, effort, and care spent trying to make this the best year possible for the senior class. You both did a wonderful job, and I speak for everyone when I say this. I speak for everyone when I say that this year was amazing. To all the families, thank you for your love and support throughout the years. Lastly, I want to thank my family and my friends for everything they have done for me. You guys always have my back, and words can't describe how much you all mean to me. Mom, Dad, and Kate, I love you guys. I stand up here and I glance at all my classmates in their caps and gowns, and it feels like a dream. As if yesterday we were requesting the boat DJ to play I Love Rock and Roll on the dinner cruise, in Washington, D.C., and now we're up here on the stage graduating. High school went just as fast as everyone said it would. I can't believe today is the day. This is the last class that has been here since sixth grade. There is something about the class of 2019 that will never be forgotten. Our diversity and love for one another makes us special. 
As excited as I am to move on to the next chapter in life, I will miss high school more than you'll ever know. As much as I'll miss the grand events like prom, Memorial Day weekend, and of course the Friday Night Lights, what I'll miss most is the fact that no matter what, when school rolled around on Monday, I would get to see my friends. I'll miss strolling through the halls, playing pickup basketball in gym, and laughing with my friends at the lunch table. You may not realize it now, but you'll miss the little things. It's, it's the simple things in life that we may disregard, but they make us who we are. To the underclass, underclassmen in attendance, my advice to you is to cherish your time in high school. It goes by way faster than you think. As I stand here today, I just want to say that I'm proud of each and every one of you. Through the ups and downs, we stayed together and we persevered. Today is the day we get to celebrate. As I look around the room, I see future doctors, lawyers, CEOs, business owners, military generals, musicians, and etc. This small square mile town called Woodridge produces some pretty bright people. As I see all of this success in our near future, I also see people who are nervous to face the real world. To be completely honest with you, I'm one of those people. That's the thing about life. Days turn into weeks, and weeks turn into months, and here we are, about to receive our diplomas and be on our way. As nervous as we all may be, I'm sure we'll manage to find a way and make the best of it. I believe in you guys, and you should as well. Thank you, Woodridge. I'll never forget my roots. I wish all of you guys good health, success, and most importantly, happiness. I am definitely going to miss this place, and more importantly, the people in it. With that being said, I would like to congratulate all of you on a job well done. I love you guys, and I'll never forget about my time at Woodridge High. We did it. At this time, I'd like to introduce my fellow classmate and class of 2019 salutatorian, Rory Kim. Ladies, gentlemen, friends, families, faculty members, and of course the class of 2019, good evening. Today we celebrate the graduation of the Woodridge High School Class of 2019. It is my honor to be salutatorian. To explain what salutatorian is, I turn to UrbanDictionary.com. A salutatorian is a person who just missed being valedictorian by a few GPA points. A very miserable person indeed. Second place is just a first loser. However, no one here is a loser because by the end of today, you'll walk across this stage and will graduate. From the moment we all entered high school, most of us already knew each other. We went to the same elementary school, middle school, even up until high school. Of course, there were new faces here and there, like the Moonaki class, but by the end of the day, we were still one. We turned from being strangers, to becoming friends, to becoming a family. A family that understood each other, our struggles, our passions, and our dreams. Not to mention, we are the grade that every teacher feared, but will never forget. These past four years, we created memories that will stay with us forever. From Ms. Garvin obsessing over the rock, to trying to survive AP courses, to fan the escape room with Mr. Foreman, to stressing over a permit test, to 42nd Street, to the volleyball team becoming league champs, to attempting to sell all the boxes of chocolates, to Minachi specials, to the boys basketball team winning state sectionals, and lastly, today, graduation day. I can say for all of us that we've imagined this day from the moment we stepped foot into Woodridge High School, but not even the best of imagined scenes can compare to the real scene that I'm experiencing right now. Although we, have, although we have had our moments in high school, it is not the only highlight of our lives. It is just the end of the first chapter to the rest of our story. Our lives are not defined by our grades or the number of extracurricular activities that we have participated in or even the amount of contentions that we may have received, but it is what each and every individual on this stage makes of his or her life. As Winston Churchill once said, success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. There are many paths that this graduating class will take. Some of us straight into the workforce, others will join the military, and some more are going off to college. My fellow classmates, as we all begin to start the next phase of our lives, there is no doubt that we will encounter obstacles and people belittling us, but I encourage you all to continue to stay motivated and enthusiastic. Tonight's graduation is more than just a liberation of high school. It is a celebration of all the good and bad times, the tough yet inspirational teachers, and the friends that we have gained and lost on the way. 
but most importantly, it is a celebration of the future that is waiting for all of us. As we all walk off this stage, we will begin to write the next chapter of our story. It is now our time to become the individual that we have dreamt of since we were little kids. And remember, this is not a goodbye, but a see you later. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, the valedictorian of the class of 2019, Matthew Cordes. Good, e good evening, Board of Education, administrators, faculty, parents, and fellow graduates. It is a great honor to be able to deliver this speech at this once-in-a-lifetime event and it certainly would not have been possible without the excellent education provided at Woodridge High School. As a result of this education, I know, undoubtedly, that each one of us will be aptly prepared for the next phase of our lives. However, before we start looking toward our future, let us all reflect on the past and the period that we have spent in Woodridge High School. We have all definitely made some memories throughout our years, some good, some bad, but those, who have, all but those have all contributed to our path to graduation. Even though many of us didn't experience some of these memorable moments together, there are some commonalities that we can reflect upon. For example, despite some of our varying times at Woodridge, whether you have been here all four years or transferred within the last two, I'm sure we've all made at least one lifelong friend. I've certainly made a few. Similarly, similarly despite many different challenges that each of us had to overcome during our high school experience, whether that challenge was struggling to complete a required course or just struggling to get out of bed in the morning. We all managed to reach this moment. Graduation. Now, as we look ahead to our future, some of us continuing on to college, trade school, the workforce, or the military, let us all remember the friends, family, teachers, and guidance counselors that supported us and helped us arrive at this point. Without any of these influences, we surely would not be the people we are today. Because whether we like it or not, our time at Woodridge and the people we surrounded ourselves with molded us and will be a part of us forever. Moreover, while we ne may never see each other again, after today we will never forget the impressions we have all left on each other. Thank you, Class of 2019, for a wonderful four years, and the best of luck to everyone in the future endeavors. I would now like to invite our Glee Club to perform. Start performing.
I would now like to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Nicholas Cipriano. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Board of ed Education members, faculty members, parents, families, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2019. It is a privilege to preside over tonight's ceremonies. The Woodridge High School class of 2019 graduates have been accepted to many prestigious colleges, such as Penn State, Boston University, Fordham, St. John's, Rutgers University, Stevens, Villanova, just to name a few. Now, please allow me to express my expectations from you. Yes, this is your last lecture. <laughs> Many of you have been together as a class since elementary school. You have taken this journey together. You will not all follow the same path when you leave the ceremony. Your individuality is about to blossom. Some of you will continue your formal education, others will serve our country in the military, and some will enter the workforce. Regardless of your path, which you have chosen, you have been given the keys to a successful future. Try them at every door. Some doors open easily while, while others take much effort. Things that are worthwhile in life take effort. Every opportunity awaits you. You have been given all the tools needed to succeed. It is up to you to grasp the opportunities that lie before you. The world will view you as adults now. You will be faced with many obstacles and challenges and will have to make some difficult decisions. If you re rely on the solid foundations you have been given by your parents and teachers, you will succeed. My wish for you is that you feel a true sense of accomplishment as you sit here tonight before your families, teachers, and friends. Before you leave here tonight, I encourage you to look around and see all the people you have, who have had an impact on your life to this point. May it be a classmate, a teacher, or a family member. Seek them out and thank them. They have taken this journey with you. At graduation ceremony, speeches are often focused on the graduate's future. But you are also our future. And we expect great things from each and every one of you. The world is waiting for you. It is waiting for your intelligence, your enthusiasm, your youthful perspective on life. Commencement implies an ending, but truly, it is a beginning. One chapter of your lives has come to a conclusion, and the rest of your life is waiting to happen. It will be what you make of it. I hope you always look back on your high school years fondly and know that we did all we could to prepare you for a brilliant and magnificent future. Albert Einstein said it best, it is every man's obligation to, to put back in the world at least the equivalent of what he takes out of it. I hope you carry with you the excitement and the anticipation you feel at this moment in every undertaking you encounter. Congratulations to the class of 2019. At this time, I would like to call up the high school principal, Joe Satara. Good evening, and welcome to the class of 2019 graduation ceremony. Before I begin, I would like to welcome all the families, Board of Education members, Woodbridge Board of Education members, 
council members in attendance, our superintendent, Mr. Cipriano, our assistant superintendent, Dr. Denobli, our, our administration, Munaki representation, superintendent, Dr. Jonathan Pons, and our Munaki Board of Education members. Special thank you goes out to Ms. Deborah Greenaway, who organized this entire event. Thank you, Debbie. At this time, I would like to ask that our Woodridge High School staff please rise and be recognized. You have all played a vital role in these graduates' journey to this day, and I speak for all when I say thank you. To the class of 2019, always pursue your dreams. Do not ever settle for what life may throw your way. Instead, see your dreams and devise a plan to get there. Explore your full potential, for your journey is ultimately up to you. You need to think big. In doing so, I ask that you consider the following. If you do not think big, you will wind up regretting things you did not attempt or do far more than the things that you tried that might not have worked out for you. Try to imagine how you will feel in 10 years if you did not trace your dreams and goals. Be brave. The most important step to explore your potential is to have the self-confidence to realize and believe that you are more creative than you give yourselves credit for. We are all guilty of that at times. To do so and imagine yourself and give yourself the opportunity to understand how creative you are, all you need to do is watch a small child play independently. Take yourself out of your personal comfort zone. It is common to fall into a pattern of comfort. However, in doing so, it prohibits a person from exploring and getting to the next level. Use your emotions to guide you when you work towards your dreams and explore your potential. Give thought to what inspires and motivates you. You are more capable than you think. Take the time to develop your plan on how to reach your goals and dreams. Always work on perfecting your personal plan. The world needs your dreams, your ideas, and your passion. Do not underestimate your ability. Do not worry about failure. Think big, as it will provide you with a life that is free of regrets. Thank you, and congratulations and good luck with your future endeavors. At this time, I'd like to call up four students who are moving on to serve our country in one of the branches of the armed forces. I spoke to these young gentlemen before the graduation ceremony began, and I'd like for them to all come up and be recognized with a gift from Ms. Barros and myself. Dante Milne, Dante Milne will be entering the Coast Guard. Christian Jones will be entering the Navy.
I would like I would now like to call up call upon our guidance counselors, Ms. Christina Tenor, Mr. Dennis Rally, to announce each graduate and invite board president, Mr. Nieves, and our superintendent, Mr. Cipriano, along with Munaki Superintendent Dr. Pons, to assist in presenting each diploma. Matthew Connor Cortez. Oh, 
Orlando. Anthony Ryan D'Amico. Celeste Elaine DeCosta. Janoy Nugent Martin. Rosanna Martinez. Kevin McAvoy. Skyler Alexis McMahon. Jason A. Mendoza. Sydney Lauren Mihalik. Dante Nome. Kiara 
John Eduardo Marlina. Isabella Rose Nieves. Mark F. Notermaso. Veronica Olivares. Maya Ortega. Alexandra Renee Pacheco. Drew Packin. Deanna Parisi. Aileen Elizabeth Perez. Andrew John Porcher. Jake Ryder. Nicholas Reyes Jr. Emmanuel Rivas Jr. Sarah L. Rivera. Angelina Lisa Samarelli. Lady Alexandra Santos Mata. Kiara Masuk Satchel. Joanna Elizabeth Serpas. Victoria Sofia Sieska. Alexandra F. Skorupski. Christina Suarez. Kyle Reese Taylor. Andrew Tomat. <laughs> Dean R. Torres. <laughs> Stephanie Padillo. <laughs> Remy Vanderhoort. <laughs> Emmanuel Vasquez. Naomi Villacrezes Delgado. Kevin Weinrich. Amber Young. Ladies and gentlemen, Sorry. ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to call upon our superintendent, Mr. Nick Cipriano, to confer the diplomas. Class of 2019 presented here have satisfactorily completed the courses of study and the requirements described by the New Jersey State Department of Education and the Woodridge Board of Education. By the authority vested in me as superintendent of Woodridge School District, it is my privilege to present to the graduating class of 2019. You may now switch your tassels. Congratulations.